everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunmeyer, Director of Public and Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. Well, it's that beautiful time of year, the October months, where really festivals throughout the state of Louisiana are really at its most. And we at Cox, are, as, as we have been so much in the past, are excited about one particular festival, which for, I say, on the West Bank and the really the region, is just really just grown in its, what, 18 years, its humble beginnings to what it really has become, just a, a, a huge festival. It's the Gretna Heritage Festival. To talk about that, happy to be joined by Councilman Ricky Templer. But also, what are you, uh, the Councilman Chairman of the Board for the Gretna Heritage well, Festival? First, You've Brad, been doing it for so long. Well, thank, first, Brad, thanks for having us you on bet. today. Uh, you bet. I, we always mul wear multiple hats to get things done, just like yourself. And I'm um, the Chairman of the Gretna Heritage Festival, have been for the last 18 years. And just like you said, came from very humble beginnings. And I'm glad to still be here. 18 years. Tell me about its, its beginnings way back uh, some 18 years ago. Were you involved in that? And, and where was it located? Actually, I was the first chairman of the Gretna Fest, uh, and it was located in downtown Gretna. You know, uh, the main purpose of the Gretna Heritage Festival was always to create a way for nonprofit groups to generate income for their organizations, right. as well as to create, a, at the time, a day of a community celebration. Uh, here we are now, uh, 18 huge years later. Huge band, huge lineups. Do you remember what the first band was? Or the, you first recall band, the first band, actually, lineup? we had Frankie Ford donate his time <laughs> free uh, to, to have the first Gretna Heritage Festival. One other band, I think we paid like $300. And it was just on a Sunday evening for about five or six hours. That's awesome. Frankie Ford, of course, a great legend uh, on the West Banker, West Banker himself. A yeah, great legend across the world, actually. I and mean, we're proud to have him with us back then. But just like you said, Humble Beginnings, we went from one day, uh, one stage uh, with a few bands. Uh, now this year we're roughly looking at three days, what, uh, October seven stages, yep. as well as 70 bands. Let's let everybody know. Again, it's the Gretna Heritage Festival. And, and can we get this out the way? We'll do a little shameless plug. Okay. We're happy to say it's the Gretna Heritage Festival presented by Cox. So we're, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But the line of October 5th, 6th, and 7th. Friday through Sunday at downtown Gretna, just beautiful downtown Gretna, uh, many areas, uh, entrance gates that you can come to, great parking, uh, easy, free parking, if I'm not mistaken. Free parking, yep. yeah. $20 admission, $50 for the entire weekend pass. Go to GretnaFest.com or you can email for more information at info at GretnaFest.com. What can people expect when they come to the festival? Well, one good thing about the Gretna Fest is it's a great, safe family event. So you can guarantee when you come there, you're going to have an experience to where your family feels safe and you have great music and food. Uh, you can look forward to, like you said, free parking or free parking with shuttles from like Oakwood Shopping Center and Westside Shopping Center. You can also look forward to, if you want to, take a ferry ride across the Mississippi River right into the Gretna Heritage And last Festival. year was the first time for that, if I'm, or the sec second like, year? It was the second year. And people love that. I know so many that live, say, uptown or mid-city, they just go park there, and the kids have a great ride across the Gretna. It's, and really, if you've not done that since they've realigned the ferries. It truly really is a great ride from the city to the Gretna Fest area, but also just to come back to see the city and the, and the foreground. It's beautiful. It's a great opportunity. I'm going to tell you what, we had over 12,000 people last year ride the ferry and come into the Gretna Fest. I've had people today call me wanting to know, Ricky, are, are the ferries running for the Gretna Fest? Because we're coming in town. We want to book a room downtown New Orleans. Perfect and ride back and forth into the Gretna Fest. And, and the nice part about it too, outside of you know a great liner, which we'll get to in just a second, you said it first, it's a great family event. It's, it's, it's not uh, you know, nothing against young people or whatever. Uh, it's, it's a very family crowd, family oriented crowd, because there's activities for the kids to do, there's great food, there's great uh, uh, places for you to kind of gather everybody together. So there's opportunities, because Gretna is such a beautiful downtown area that I think it, that's what kind of makes it fit well for families. Well, you have 25 square blocks that right. we fit the festival within. You have seven stages. You have different little nooks and crannies you can go hang out at, the Italian village, the German village, uh, and it goes on and on. And, and, and the nice part about it, too, is, is the diversity of food. You always got great food, as you said. Right. You know, you can be able to find Latin food, <laughs> Spanish yeah. food, uh, uh, Italian food, and, and Creole food. The lineup is awesome this year. Uh, if any, any of you guys out there love really good classic rock, we've got none other than Joe Cocker, who will be uh, the headliner, as well as Foreigner. 
So those who like Urgent and uh, Jukebox Hero and the like, uh, you'll love some good foreigner music. This is an act we were just talking about. You had seen him before, I as well. The Temptation uh, Review featuring uh, Dennis Edwards. Fantastic show, because it's not just the music, it's their performance. Right, they actually put on a Las Vegas style quality Absolutely. show. And believe me, if you come out Saturday night, you get to listen to Joe Cocker, uh, the Temptations and the Spinners open for The Temptations is just, I mean, it's right. just incredible. We have Big and Rich, so for those country fix That's on folks, Sunday. We, we, we thought about you and made sure that you have that. Then we have The Spinners, Pat Green, uh, Leon Russell, uh, David Alliance, uh, Dan, uh, Dan, David Alliance, David, uh, David Allen Coe, Cowboy Troy, and many more. All the lineup, you can just simply go to Gretna Fest uh, for their website to, for more information about that. Tons of sponsors, and the best part about it right now, you can get discounted tickets online at TicketWeb. Yes. So, again, just go to their website, and it just will link you through at GretnaFest.com. Again, it's $20 admission, $50 weekend pass, and when you go to the GretnaFest.com website, there will be a link where you can buy your tickets online. I'm sure you can just print it out. You bring it there. Of course, we'll have uh, at-the-gate tickets available for anyone interested in going. The weather is going to be absolutely beautiful. Call the weather. Channel, channel folks up, David. I mean, okay. uh, Ricky, they're good to go. Uh, but it's going to be fantastic. And here's the poster. It just looks absolutely fantastic. You'll see these around. Again, we're happy here to be presenting uh, sponsor of this. Ricky, thanks for you and your team for reaching out to us. And we're going to have you back as we get closer with more information. So thanks for coming down today. Best of success. I know you're getting ready for a great event. And thanks for your support, too. Thanks, Ricky. All, All right. the best. All right, it's going to be coming up October 5th, 6th, and 7th. It's the Gretna Heritage Festival in beautiful downtown Gretna. That wraps up this segment of Cox Connections. We'll see you next time.